Hey guys, welcome. Happy Thursday evening. I feel like I'm out of breath. I just literally ran in the door at 8.55. I came from a, a cheer board meeting. Um, I'm hoping to run for a position in the spring. So I started to attend meetings. Um, so um, I didn't realize they ran so <laughs> late. Um, but anyway, so welcome. Um, this is our first Thursday night Zoom in December. Excited for a new month. Who else is excited for a new month? Oh my gosh. Um, I was so sick in November and I couldn't wait for that month to get over and just kind of like refresh, right? So it is December. Um, we have Christmas in a couple of weeks, right? Three weeks or so. So, um, you know, the company does a really great job in general with like, you know, promos and gifts and things like that this time of year. But I want to go over something right now before I bring on these three amazing ladies. What our team is doing for all of you and your potentials, your friends and your family. Um, we do this every year. <clears throat> um, it's a great um, giveaway. It's a great incentive that um, a few uh, leaders come together and do for um, you guys every year. And it's a 12 days of Christmas get, uh, giveaway. And it starts on the fifth. So if you don't have the link, um, you know, let, let me know, let your leader know, let someone know that you don't have the link to get in where you can invite your potentials, your friends, your family. Um, this is for non-promoters, okay? Um, and every day starting the fifth, you're going to have a different leader come on and they're going to go live and talk about, I don't know, um, you know, their, their thrive experience, their favorite products, maybe a favorite recipe, you know, something, um, you know, not only thrive related, but also, you know, Christmas related. And then they're going to talk about their giveaway for that day. And let me just tell you, if you haven't seen the giveaways yet, it's crazy. It's insane. So we have a drone. We have a hundred dollar Ulta gift card. We have two one day passes to Disney. Like that's crazy. Those Disney passes are expensive. A um, hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Actually, I think we have two of those. An air fryer, a Kindle paper weight, paper weight, paper weight. That's like the the Kindle, right? That you can read your books, your personal personal development on. A four week Thrive experience. Um, our CBD infused skincare system, all three steps. Um, iPods, um, the doorbell, and Echo. So like the, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called. The, the doorbell, of course. No, I don't have one. Um, and then like an instant pot. So the doorbell with the camera on it. So. These are amazing, I don't know if you can see that, but these are amazing gifts, these are amazing giveaways. So the only requirement that these people have to win these things to put in the giveaway is one, there's two. They have to you know, watch the video, watch the live, right? And then they have to, sorry, um, have a free account with whoever invited them to the group. And they have to be in this group, right? This is where everything's going to take place. So like I said, if you don't have the link to this group, if you're not in it, like we're almost a thousand people in this group already. And I think we just opened it up today. It's crazy. It's going to be so much fun, you know, so um, definitely let's get on that. Invite, personally invite people. So don't just like mass invite people. Because like I said, you want them to make sure that you want to make sure that they have a free account with you under you. Okay. Um, that is a requirement to win. Um, and plus, we just want them to have an account, right? Because when they decide to order Thrive, if they're not already thriving with you, we want that to be with you, right? So that being said, this is, we're gonna get started in three days, the fifth, and I can't wait. I can't wait, I'm so excited. So I'm going to just move on a little bit here and bring on, like I said earlier, earlier three amazing women who are just killing it, like, whether they're onboarding, whether they have, you know, um, volume coming in, whether they're, um, you know, sign up free accounts, whether they're doing vendor events, whether they're, you know, whatever it is, I want you to hear, um, hold on. 
Um, I, I, yeah, because I think we have, um, you know, Jamie Peck is in it. So definitely um, outside the US. Um, I can uh, find out, let me write that down, Jen, for you and I will find out. That is a great question. So yeah, Jackie, definitely um, Canada. Um, I don't think, yeah. So, but I will, oh, Jean, I'm sorry, Jean, Jean. Okay, so I think she's uh, Philippines though. Um, I don't know. That is a great question. I will get with um, Lisa because she's spearheading this whole thing and um, definitely find out. Um, so absolutely, that is a great question. All right, so I'm gonna bring on um, a girl, a woman, a woman, she's uh, fantastic. She's actually um, on my team and her name is Dominique. And she is like, let me tell you, when I open up my back office, I see Dominique, 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 always, you know, she's always onboarding, bringing new people in. Um, she actually has me in a chat, a customer chat, um, a, a potentials chat. Um, and it's just, it's, it's just always, she's always in there and I'm going to have her explain this, but, um, you know, and I've never seen anything like this, like what she's doing and how, um, how great she is at, you know, getting people to sign, to create accounts and to order and get them onto events. I want to explain how she's, how she's doing that and how she's getting them onto events and then getting them into, um, no, into her, um, her back office with an account. So Dominique, are you on? Yes, I'm here. Hey, <laughs> so Dominique has with has been with me a hot minute and um, she's just killing it. She's got the great, greatest personality. She's so freaking funny. And she's a mom, she's a boy mom to two little boys. And um, she has a great um, cohesive team atmosphere with her and her mom. And I just, I love her and her team so much. So please talk to us about what you're doing right now. Like I said, I'm constantly seeing you in the back office, your name popping up everywhere. Um, you have big goals, girl. You come at me with some goals. I'm like, yes, you know, she's all about, um, you know, affirmations and speaking them into existence. And, um, you know, I just talk a little bit about what you're doing with your chats and signing people up and getting them onto events and how that has been successful for you. Um uh because i work my faith well hi everybody um i'm kind of nervous it's my first time like talking on a team zoom i've been manifesting that i was going to talk on a zoom and then danny like messaged me today about it, and i was like i guess today's the day um but what i've been doing because i bring in a lot of people from my facebook groups um and it's a lot of people at one time and it's way too many for me to keep like keep in like keep track of one by one so I was always listening to Jessie Lee and she was like, well, get them into a controlled environment that you can control. Um, and she was like with her team, because she brings in so many people, she puts them all in one chat. And she's like, it's a chat where I can control it. Um, I go in there and I say, um, like, I let them know exactly what's going on inside the business. Um, she drops all the time. If there is, sorry, my kids found me. Um, there she's always talking about like she just drops um the potential promoter events in there she lets them know like you gotta be quiet she lets them know like um if if they're sorry i had to move away from my kids um but she just said that it's a good environment where she can control it um, so I was like, I'm gonna just put all my potentials into one chat and I'm gonna just drop in there every time there's a potential event. Um, every time there's a promo going on, I put Danny in there so she can tell her story so she can kind of see like exactly what it is that I'm doing because in our team chat, I'm very quiet. Um, I observe a lot. I really don't say much, but I'm always behind the scenes working. And I didn't want Danny to think like I'm not working just because I read stuff in the chat. No, no, no. Hold on. I have to interrupt you for a minute. She is not quiet in our team chat. She is in now there. No, I'm not. <laughs> people, you know, um, you know, in there doing present, you know, their weekly or daily affirmations. She's in there all day. So I don't know, girl. You have to give. I used to be very that. quiet, and I was like, well, if I want to become a leader for my team, I have to step up somehow. 
Um, and I was always listening to the higher up leaders and they're like, you want the higher up people in your business, you want them to know you. They want, they want, you want them to know that you're there and that you're working um, and that you're going to be putting numbers up. And if you're not putting numbers up, then you are like, it's a possibility you will be putting numbers up, but you always want to make noise and you always want to be loud about what you're doing. So I would just pop in the chat now and I would drop the affirmations in there. If I did something in my chat, I would put it in there. But with my potential chat, it's been a game changer for me really because they're all up in there and I just let them know, hey, this is what's happening. Um, and if you're interested in this, in this just heart this message um, or say me or drop something. I always give them a task to do because if not, they're just gonna read the message and leave me there. And I'm like, my goal is for you to communicate with me so I can figure out exactly what it is like that I have to do on my end for you to actually say, I'm ready to do this. And there's a lot of people in my chat now because I'm constantly throwing the business and the opportunity in their face every single day, um, whenever I can. So whenever Lisa Fuller has the opportunity events, I'm always dropping in there like days ahead. Hey, this is happening this day. If you plan on being on, just heart this message or say me so I know the follow up with you closer to the date. And there's a lot of them that heart the message. So I know these are the ones that I'm running with. These are the ones that I'm going to follow up with. And these are the ones that after the event is over that I have to keep in contact with, because if I don't strike while the iron is hot, when they heard all them stories and they're like, OK, so how do I go in with this? If I'm not there to answer it, Danny's in there. I put my mom in there, too. So there's two of two other people in there that are thrivers that can step in if I'm not if I'm not available or if someone's in there like, hey, how do I do this? It's not just all on me because. At one point in time, it was all on me and it got way too, like, it got a lot and it made me feel like I was just draining myself. So delegating different things and having other people step in has been a game changer with the chat. Yeah. And, you know, what you've done in there is amazing. You know, I see it, it's very busy. You know, it's, there's people are talking, people are hearting, people are, you are constantly asking questions. So, you know specifically who to follow up with. Now, how do you get them from to be a potential in, then into your back office to sign up as, you know, to make their free account? Um, like, how do you, like, what do you think, like, first, how do you do that? Like, how, like, are are the events crucial for you? Are, they, are those like really what seals the deal? Like, what makes them go from to, to be a potential then into an account? And then, um, yeah, so let's just start there. Sorry. Um, so before I even get them in the chat, I tell them to gain access into the chat. I need them to create their free account. They don't know. I just tell them I need them to create an account. They don't know that it's free, um, but I tell them that it's just to gain access into there. So they have access if they have questions about products or anything that they have questions for. They have all that back there, but I lock them in with that account. Um, so when they are ready, because they are going to be ready, their account's already made, or even if they do a sample from me and they're like, okay, I'm ready to try this. Cause I sample a lot too. Like if there's people that aren't ready to commit with the full experience, I give them a three day. Um, and I just charge them whatever price most of the time is 25. So they at least have that product and they can start telling people about the product once they start trying it. But I tell them to gain access into that chat. I need them to create an account and that secures their spot on my team. Um, and that locks them in so because I tell them timing and placement is everything so that that account locks them in so they're secured with that. Yeah, that's perfect because you don't really want to give out too much information without having them in a, um, have an account with you right. So um, I have someone asking is this group chat a chat full of just potentials. Yes, it is. It's all just potentials. Um, because like I said, I do work my groups a lot and I get a lot of potentials from my group and it's way too many. Like I write their names down and it's still a lot. So just having them all, like I'll talk to them that day. And then I'm like, I'm at, I just automatically add them into, I don't even tell them, but I always make sure that before I start adding people into that chat, Danny sees it. I put a message in there explaining why they're being added into that chat. Um, and once they read it to heart it, so I know that they've seen it. Um, and then I start adding new people in and there's a lot of people that come in, they see that and then they heart it and they're ready for everything else. Great. And then where are you finding all these people? Because let me tell you, this chat is 
jam pack full of potentials, like people that already have their accounts, right? Um, talk about the number of people she's getting. From, yeah, so that I'll just I'll just ask you that, Denise. So where are you finding these people? So are you in groups? Are you how are you finding all these people to add? Or just on Facebook? Go go from there. Um, I'm getting all my people from Facebook groups <laughs> um, because my social media was full of people that I knew. Um, and they always tell you that the people close to you aren't going to be your first supporters. And that is true. All my business and my support I came from complete strangers. I met out of Facebook groups. So I go, I reached out to a sideline and she told me to, uh, she said, you have to pinpoint other entrepreneurs and then start talking about your, why your business is better than everybody else's, what you love about the business. So I went and I joined a whole bunch of small business groups or groups in my area or uh, business support groups. And I go in there. Galaxy and DJ, shh. I go in there and I uh, I make business posts. And all, us moms, all us moms know what you're feeling like right now. So don't worry. Sorry guys. Um, I go in and I just put general business posts. Hey, who's looking to work from home? Um, I'm a mom, so I'm always pinpointing other moms. So I make posts like, who is a mom and wants to stay from home or who wants to be a stay at home mom or work from home. Um, and anybody who comments on that, they become a potential. So they go into that potential chat. Anybody who hearts that and I slide into their message and I'm asking them, hey, were you interested in working from home? And they tell me yes, they're going into that potential chat. Um, and that is on a daily basis. I'm adding people into there um, because I'm constantly putting the business in other people's face. And like my mom said, it's a lot of people. I maxed on my friend list one day like three or four times just from adding people to Wow, that's crazy. Now, do you find that you get a lot of um, maybe pushback a little bit on such blatant posts in there? Like, you know, looking for work from home, you know, people that want to work from home or are you? do you just find groups that allow you to make posts like that and are more comfortable like that can you repeat that one more time sorry i had to hide to a whole another spot in the house you're fine <laughs> so i know like a lot of groups they don't allow you to like post like that in there so do you just find groups that allow you to do that and do you get any pushback from people um i just find groups that allow me to make those posts in there because like a lot of groups will kick you out but most of my other groups i'm just making general posts but i always make sure my dft showing or somehow thrives in my background somewhere. So people are like, hey, what is that sticker you're wearing? And there's a lot of people that are in those groups. And they're like, hey girl, I peeped that black label. Like they are other thrivers and they're shouting it out. And then there's a lot of people like, wait, what is that? But in most of my groups where I'm getting like my business potentials is business groups. And it's the ones that allow it. So they won't, they always, most of the time, they always accept it. And are you finding like this time of year with the holidays that more people are looking for extra money or stay home, work from home jobs or things like that? You, do you see like an increase in your potentials? Yes. Uh, this time is crazy because there is a lot of people looking for that extra holiday cash, um, but it's all about how you word it. Um, and I've found that using the word brand ambassador is like a thing now. Um, and then a lady came into my inbox and she said that her people train on using that. And it's a lot of people that are out there like just looking for an extra side hustle. So if you um, word it like, hey, who's looking for an extra side hustle to make that holiday cash or be able to put presents underneath the Christmas tree, there's going to be a lot of people up in there, even other entrepreneurs that are struggling in their business um, that are looking for another business venture. But you just have to build that relationship first. Don't go straight in for like the kill. Cause there's a lot of times where they come and they're ready, but then they pull back. And then there's on most of the time you're if they pull back, you're gonna pull back, but you can't pull back. You just have to keep on reaching out. Like I reach out all the time, like, hey, how are you? They're like, Oh yeah, about that co other conversation, I'm ready now. There's a lot of people that are now telling me that they're ready. And it's been like a couple of weeks of me just checking in on them after they ghosted me. Yeah, I've um, Becky has a question. Would you recommend starting now and adding all your existing potentials into a group like this? Or would you start fresh moving forward from like here and all your potentials starting today into a new group? Um, I would start now. That's what I did. Um, 
everybody that had it, I put emojis next to all my potentials names. So anybody who had an emoji next to their name, I put in that potential group just so I could start building it. And then I just started adding on top, but I would definitely start now. It's, it would be a big help. So you'd start adding like potentials from like past potentials and yes. just to get the group going to show that there's other people in there, right? Yes. Yeah, that's a good, that's good. All right. Well, thank you so much. Do you have anything else that you wanted to add? What's working for you? What, um, any other tips or tricks, hints? that um, you can um, you know, give everyone, especially this time of year? What else is working for me is a Happy Packer chat. Um, I don't know what made me think of it one day. I was laying down and I was like, why do I have not all my people that are doing Happy Packs in the chat? Um, and that's been a game changer for me too. You just put everybody in that's doing a Happy Pack into that chat and you just check on them every single day instead of checking in with them one-on-one. -on -one. Then they see that there's a whole bunch of other people and it's not just them doing this. So they're not alone because when they see that there's a whole bunch of other people and they feel welcome, they're going to start asking questions in there. Um, I now have my happy packer chat to, I think like 20 now. Um, and every time they get a, they get their happy pack in the mail, they post a picture in there and they're so excited. And then they have everybody else like, Oh my gosh, I can't wait till I get mine. So that's been a game changer as well. That's good too, because um, a happy pack, Jamie, is a mini experience, so a sample pack. <clears throat> um, that's good too, because then they're with other people that are experiencing it at the same time, you know, so they can kind of, you know, ask the same questions or see questions that they may have but are afraid to ask. So that's brilliant. So thank you so much. You know, I just adore you and your mom, and I think the world of you guys, and you guys with your manifestations and your affirmations and you guys, I just know that you're going to just achieve everything that you have um, going for you. And um, I just love you. So thank you so much. You're right. welcome. Oh. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm going to, the next amazing woman I have coming on is, um, I love her name because her name is the same as my daughter's, um, Olivia Bliss. Um, so she is a sideline of mine, a sideline sister. And um, if you don't have sidelines that you can turn to, find some, get to events, get to, um, you know, get on Zooms. And, you know, I have met some of my best friends um, through this um, industry, this company, and, um, you know, they're from all over the country. And uh, so they're my best, uh, biggest support. Um, so Olivia is another sideline that I don't think that we have personally met, have we? Uh, I just know you through Stacy. Um, Stacy is blessed to have Olivia and her team. And I don't know much. All I know is that um, you're under Stacy, that you lost a ton of weight, like 60 pounds or so, Olivia. And um, I was talking to Stacy a little bit and she was like, you have to get Olivia on. She like killed it at the end of last month. And she's just, she gets her mind on something and she just kills it. So I knew I had to bring you on. So tell us a little bit about yourself and then what you're doing now, um, you know, to grow your business. And, you know, when this is a typical slow season going into the holidays. So thank you for coming on and welcome. Hi, everybody. My name is Olivia. And yes, I am below Stacy. Um, I did lose a crap ton of weight. It was about 65 pounds. Um, healthily though, over the course of like, you know, the past three years. Um, so I was off. So I had started promoting and then I was off social media for two years because I was in a very bad relationship. So I was off social media for so long, you guys, that I didn't know that I could get a free pack of shakes and I was paying for my product every month as a promoter. Like that's pretty pathetic, but I wasn't on social media. So I couldn't reach out to any of my girls for anyone to tell me that I could get my four week pack with a free box of shakes. And I was ordering an extra one every month. So long story short, I ended up back on social media last August, I want to say. So I've been back and by October I had ranked and Typically for me, the way that I am, I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but I am the type of person that when I get my heart set on something or I have like a fire lit under my ass, I can do all of the things. 
it's also very easy for me to not be able to balance things and I can lean out because I have two other jobs. So that happened to me a little bit this summer. Cyber Monday hit and I don't know what happened, but it was the, it was month end. And I basically, I was at work, super busy seasons down here right now. So I'm like very busy at work. And I just one by one reached out to every single person who orders from me or people who I know who have been wanting to order, but like don't have the money to do so. And I just let them know, like, look, like it's 30% off plus my 20% today, like no worries. And I did over a thousand dollars in volume on my own, just customers. No, like, I think maybe two of my promoters ordered and I was like, okay. And I honestly, I felt like that was all I need for that fire. And I've been doing all of the things since I know the things that work for me may not work for everybody else. We're all on different teams. We all learn different ways, but for me, the best way for me to get people on my team is just for me to share my experience and to be able to relate with people. And people just want to see that like you're a human being at the end of the day. And like you have flaws, they don't want to see you posting anything negative, but like they want to understand that like you're a human being just like them and they're able to relate they start to trust you. And then they're they're like, okay, so like, what's this thrive thing all about? And that's typically for me, 95% of the time, how I get people. And I don't like to be addy. I don't like to be pushy. I like to switch up everything that I do, but I make sure that I stay consistent in certain things. And, you know, like tonight I went live for the first time in like two months. Um, I make sure that I'm constantly posting on stories, constantly getting polls up reaching out to people. But at the end of the day, for me, it's really just like being able to relate with other people. And they, I never, like I posted, I have 65 months sober today. And I like posted a thing and I, the amount of messages that I got in my um, inbox of people, they're just like, I've been watching you. Like, I'm just so proud of you, even though it wasn't thrive related, but they've been watching and I constantly post thrive. So they've been watching. So, I mean, that's just what works for me. Well, first, congratulations. Thank you. Wow, that's um, a great accomplishment. So you're busy, right? Who isn't? We're all busy. So how do you, how do you balance your two jobs and Lavelle? Because you hear, you know, all the time from potentials. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. Well, how do people say that to you? Like when you're like, girl, I got two jobs and I do this. Don't tell me about no time. Right. So yeah. like, how do you, one, like, how do you, what do you say to them if, if they come to you about not having time? And then two, how do you balance everything to get, you know, reach your goals or, you know, each month along with your two jobs? So I'm not going to lie. I have I struggle with keeping promoters working because obviously like, you know, like even like Brittany has somebody that she's like, you can't make anybody work, you know, like that's just kind of on them at the end of the day. I just have to like continue like to show them what I'm doing. Um, I don't, I ha yeah, I, I struggle with that. So, I mean, like what I kind of, I, the thing that I know I can have control in is my personal volume. And that's kind of like where I've been at. And I'm like, I guess like, I just try to like manifest it that like when someone's like ready that they actually want to make money, like it will happen, I guess. Um, for me balancing, I have a hard time, but I just do it because I, I know it's very important and I'm a very scheduled person. So like I'll wake up 15 minutes early every morning and I'll make sure that I get my PD in, my three steps, a post up, a story up, and all of like that before I leave the house for the day. And then when I'm at work, the minute I get a minute, I will throw another post up and get in my inbox. Um, it's not easy. Like a lot of people think like, it's really not easy. Like when you're really busy at work, I work alone. Um, but you just, I don't, I don't leave anybody on red ever. Like I will always answer people when I have people in my inbox. I will always make time to message people. And I always make time to make sure that I have stories and posts up. 
I don't know how I do it. I think I just do it. I think it like gets to a point where like, it just becomes part of your routine and you just do it. It's like kind of just having your priorities in check. Would you like to thrive for free? Would you like an extra paycheck every month on top of, you know, like I wouldn't do this. Well, obviously I do it because I love the products, but of course everyone needs extra money. I'm not, I mean, I'm not a millionaire. Like I always want extra money. So I, if, if the pain's great enough, you'll do it. So for me, I just make it a part of my routine. Yeah. And I think that, I think the most successful people are the busy people because they know how to, um, prior prioritize their time. They know, um, they can, you know, they know how to juggle. They know how to delegate, they know, you know, everything. So I think the busy people, that's what I try to explain to a lot of people who are like, I'm just too busy. I don't have time. Like, well, no, you're busy. So you, you know how to manage your time. Yeah. And I also, I think a lot of people use that as an excuse because they have fear or they're scared or Mm -hmm. they're just don't want to. I mean, that's really the root of the, the issue. Could you imagine? I mean, like if I, I said like, I don't have time to like work on my like recovery to stay sober, you know, like to me, it's the same thing. Right. Like, I I mean, I saw a quote when you say you're too busy switch, I'm too busy with, it's not a priority. Yeah. And see how you feel about that. I saw that actually today. Even like the, I have to No, I get to. Exactly. Like we have the ability to do these things because we have two hands and two feet or we have all of our senses or, you know, yeah. Personal development is very important for me for that. Like specifically, because there's always something to be grateful for in life. Absolutely. Okay. I have a question. So Cyber Monday, you did over a thousand dollars in personal volume. Did, was that all current customers that you just reached out to? Did you get any new customers? I got Um, one new and then all current, but three of them had not ordered in two months. Oh, okay. Cause I think a lot of, a lot of time we're afraid to go back into our current customers that haven't ordered. Like I've been, we're going on almost five years, um, that I've been with Lavelle and, you know, if I go back to, you know, let me tell you, I have gone back to customers that haven't ordered probably since 2017 and, or, you know, and I've, and I've talked to them and then then they've reordered because sometimes they forget sometimes, you know, just you get in their inbox, you know, telling them about a new product or, you know, promo that is running. That's just the thing that they need to just kind of step back in. And then, um, I actually have had customers that created free customer accounts from 2017 that have come to me and like, okay, I'm ready. I've never ordered. I'm ready. I'm ready. And, you know, even, you know, so do you find that it's pretty easy to go back to your, your customers and let them know about promos and how often do you do that? So it really depends. Like I have a lot of customers who over the course of the past three and a half years that I've been doing this end up like pregnant and would prefer not to thrive while pregnant. So that's like 10 months, but during the 10 months that they're pregnant, I reach out to them constantly and ask how they're doing. So I keep the relationship there as a friend and like, for so, you know, one of my, she just had her baby. He's two and a half months old and she's already reordering the other one. She's about to have the baby. So it's like, I like, you know, once January comes, I'll reach back out people who haven't ordered in like, you know, like my roommate, for instance, she just became, she's my best friend, but she's, um, she had hadn't ordered in like a year. And then I didn't, I didn't push it on her, but I just suggested, you know? Yeah. I think think there was like a promo going on or something like that. And I think I like gave her some credits. Yeah. I think keeping that communication open is huge and letting them feel like they're just on a sale to you, you know? So checking in with them, like letting, like knowing that I have it here, um, knowing what is going on in their life. So I keep might be trying to think where it is. I have a, um, a file card. Oh, my. 
usually on my desk. I have a like a folder, a file, little note cards, um, envelope type thing. Uh, we're in the process of revamping my office, so, um, and I have note cards in there. So, and whenever somebody creates, I think there's little like different um, tabs, and it's um, a potential, a free customer, an ordering customer, um, and then upgraded to a promoter. So when they are a potential or a free, actually a free customer, and then, oh, and, and I have um, a sample um, tab in there as well. So any of those, I write in there, you know, what, you know, they, what their goals are, what they want to achieve. Basically like their file. Yeah. How they're feeling. And then you can go in and like, you see something like on their Facebook page, like it's their son's birthday or it's their birthday or whatever. And like, you can make little notations on these note cards. And I just love those, like, no, they're like a three by five note card. And I just love that for like that purpose. Cause you the more you look at these, the more you, you know, your customers and you get to know them. And then, you know, when a new product comes out, like, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for Sally. Let me contact Sally, you know, and you've already established that relationship with her. So it's not an awkward um, message, right? Cause you kept up to date with, you know, Sally the whole time. So, um, and I really, you know, especially, you know, we, we do this with potentials, right? But we have to keep this up with our current customers as well. Cause yep. Just because they're not ordering now doesn't mean they're not going to order down the road, right? Um, yeah, and there's been like there's been times that I'm like I don't want to like reach out to them because like I don't want them to like not order. But I mean like what if what if that one time you reach out to them they're like oh my god a new product came out can you add that to my thing and that right there will give you more free credits for yourself. So I mean like by not saying anything you're almost like hurting your own pockets. Yeah, and that's something like I tell my team every um, what are we fifth fifteenth. 5th, 10th is changed now. 5th, 10th, 15th, 20th, 20th, and 25th, right? So we have five auto ships a month, right? We still only have three. Um, so we have five auto ships a month now. And I tell my team, like, so tomorrow, so two days before, we have auto ships um, coming up in two days. Make sure that you reach out to your customers that have an auto ship running. Um, to follow up with them, make sure that they, they're loving the product and see if you can suggest a plus line product to add on to their order. You know, so one, you want, it's customer service 101. You want to make sure that they're happy with what they're using. If not, let's get them into something that will better suit them. If they're loving it, what else can we do to add to their order to enhance what they love, right? So, you know, this is something I tell my team five times a, a month. So, because I know so many people are afraid to reach out to their auto ship customers because they're afraid they're going to turn it off. What if you don't have that mindset? What if you go into it? Oh my gosh. I have an amazing product for you. You know, I'd love for you to try it. Or when this product was released, it made me think of you. What do you think about adding it to your order in tomorrow? You know, so I think we have to look at it a different way. Um, Cause let me tell you, when I first started, I was scared. Cause I came from a company where it was, you were locked into an auto ship um, for three months, but here you have the opportunity to cancel, which is amazing, but we want them to keep ordering, right? So having that customer service um, will, you know, have them order every, you know, every month. Like I have a, I have a customer who has ordered religiously every month for four years, for four years. She's amazing. And I send her little, you know, notes with a, if I have a new product coming out, like the thirst, the new, um, thirst flavor or the new activate flavor, I'll throw in a little thank you card and I'll, I'll send it to her or whatever. And I do that for all my customers, but her, I kind of go a little, you know, above and beyond because literally every month for four years. So, but you know, if we're not, we're in the customer service industry, if we're not taking care of our customers, then we have really no business, right? So think of, you know, outside the box, what can you do, you know, to up your customer service game and, you know, just reaching out, you know, letting them know that they're just not a sale and let them know when there's promos coming on. I think, um, Stacy, does Stacy, I think Stacy goes and says, you know, Hey, you know, let me know. I'll, you know, if you want to be on my list every month for, you know, follow-ups, or if you want to know more about promos, let me know. Um, I can take you off. It's not a problem. I don't want to bother you, you know? So that's a good way to lead into it as well. You know, a lot of time, like, no, let me know. I want to know, if, you know, a good deal coming up or if you new product that's being launched. So do you have any other 
tips, tricks, hints that you can think of because you're doing amazing and Stacy just raves about you all the time. <laughs> I, the only thing that I can say for everyone is no matter what you're doing, if it works for you, just keep doing it, but just try to remain consistent and try to find other people to reach out to if whatever you're doing isn't working. Yeah. You know? And just build relationships with people. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. And I hope one day we get to meet in person because I've just heard, like I said, so much about you and I just would love to meet you. And of course, I love your name. Like I said, my daughter has the same name. So thank um, you. yeah, so thank you so much for coming on tonight. Of course. Okay, so this next amazing woman, I met about a month ago, almost a month ago. Um, and we met in Syracuse at a um, Lavelle local. And we walked into our room, right? This, our room where we had the local and there's this beautiful table. Well, first of all, I met her like the night before at the little meet and greet and I heard her story and I'm like, oh. but, and then that night, I was it that night or the next morning I told like Chaz or Lisa, I said, we need to get Katrina. She needs to talk. Cause we had the whole like panels all set up and everything. I'm like Katrina needs to talk because her story was just amazing. But we walked in this room and there's this beautiful table set out a product. It was like, you're, you're at a vendor event, right? It was set up and she had, um, you know, her little, I can't, I think I took pictures of it, but like, she had like little, um, before and after pictures she had, um, just, it was beautiful. And then, so Katrina has this amazing story about vendor events. And, you know, I think a lot of us tend to get, we're a little scared to do vendor events, right? Because that's a lot of face-to-face -face talking to people, right? And that, that can get you nervous and scared. And, but let me tell you, face-to-face -face, talking to somebody about a product that you love is huge because they get to hear your excitement. They get to see the excitement on your face, your passion. Um, and then they actually get to look and touch and feel the product. And sometimes, you know, depending on, you know, what you, you're doing, you can actually test out the product. Um, and then they can get samples right then and there. And I know that she does a great job at that and then signing free customer accounts as well. So I'm going to have Katrina come on, tell us a little bit about your story and then what you're doing with vendor events and how, like how you find them, how you sign up, where, you know, what you do. Um, so just go, do your thing, girl. Okay. Hi, my name is Katrina Newman and I have been a promoter now for just over a year, which is really exciting. I'm really happy. I love doing this. Um, I used to bartend and waitress. I stopped doing that COVID and everything else. Don't get me wrong. I'm not opposed to like help a friend out or anything like that if needed, but I prefer to be my own boss at this point. So um, anyway, 2020 happened and I had a BB and I used you know, I always worked out. I always have worked out forever. So the person that I, you know, my um, enroller that I signed up under, I've known her for since high school. And so I've been friends with her. So I've been seeing her stuff for years and I would scroll by it. I would scroll by it and I'd be like, I'm not doing that. Those are diet pills. They're not diet pills. And <laughs> I don't know. I guess one day, so my enroller is Brittany O'Neill. And one day she must've said something about it being high quality vitamins. And I was like, oh, and at that point I wasn't get, I was back to working out. I was not getting the results that I wanted. I knew I could be bad, do better. And so I, I ordered and I started doing it literally like by the third day, I made my husband start taking it. <laughs> And by like the 10, by 10 days of taking it, we, it was like 10 to 15 days or something. I don't know. We went to get more pictures, more family pictures done. Our clothes, both of our clothes were fitting a little bit differently and it just felt better. Like you could tell that we both felt better. Anyway, that's just a little bit about that. So let's get down to it. Vendor events. I've been doing some more um, figuring all the details out because what I do set up is compliant. First of all, it is compliant. I did not really realize that 
you're supposed to submit tickets to compliance for vendor events. So <laughs> they're supposed to approve it. So you, what has to be in it is your full name, the full name of the event, your name, the type of event, the dates and times of the event, and the name and the city and state where the event is going to be, right? Any marketing things that you're going to use that you make, you need to submit pictures of that so that they can approve it or purchase from the gear store. That's what I, I did that. I'm not saying to go buy the tablecloth. It's very expensive. It's very expensive, but I do so many that I knew that I would make that money back. And certain um, bigger events require you to like have signage that says what you are, right? So it was a good investment for me. I have big plans. I literally have to like sit down and plan out 2022. I want to do county fairs. I want to possibly do the state fair. I want to possibly do a bridal expo. All of that, some of those um, spots are very expensive. So I have to actually like sit down and see where I'm at. Anyway, when I go to find vendor events right now, so when I went to Thrive Palooza, I came back and I was like, I'm, well, I had already signed up one before I left. I'm like, I am doing this vendor event. When literally the weekend we came back from Thrive Palooza, my friend, uh, Leonella and I did vendor events and she gave me the idea of doing the before and after pictures. And I only put two out. So I keep everything super simple. I only pick two people or whatever to put out just because when you get a ton of stuff all over your table, it's very overstimulating for people. And they're just going to look at all the things that you have. And um, they're just going <laughs> to look at all the things you have rather than talk to you. And the whole point of doing them is so that you get to talk to people face to face and you, and they get to know you a little bit because that's what people want. And that's how you're going to get their trust and let them know you know, they're putting something into their body. They need to be able to trust you, right? So the way I find them is a uh, chamber of commerce, Rotary. There is a local girl here that does um, like local advertising for, and she puts together small events like this and everything. So I'm one of her vendors. Also, of course, Facebook. Lately, Facebook has been like kind of my fun place to go and look for them because I set myself a timer just like we do for everything else. I set a timer and I'll scroll through events and I will look to see what exactly the event is, how many people are interested, how many people are going, what is the event. So all of that kind of stuff. And then I ask people like, you know, if I, I try to go, obviously I can't do them every single weekend. I would love to, but I can't because my husband would probably not be very happy about that. <laughs> but, um, so my goal usually is like two, um, at least two a month, right? And that's usually my goal. Probably when the weather gets nicer, I might do more than that. It all depends. Um, so with that, I, Hold on, I'm going to interrupt you for one second. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I just pulled up the picture from the vendor event that, or not the vendor, the, 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 the local we did, this is her table. So if you see, she's got like two pictures over here that are before and afters. And then like over to the other side, I set it up. I have just this simple three steps, like this last one. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm yelling, I get really loud sometimes, but um, over to the left, I do the three steps. And like this past day or this past weekend, I did one and I use like the candy cane and the chocolate, right? For like peppermint mocha shakes. So I used those two shake flavors. I still just did the three steps and I pick and chose. I even put less um, DFT boxes out just because they don't need to see them all. And then on the other side, I have my little um, nighttime packs. So I actually have them right here, my little nighttime packs. And um, all it is, is a rest, a chill and a recharge. 
and my business card, of course. I charge at least $5 for mostly anything that has three plus line products is $5, depending on what it is, because I wanna show you guys, this is important. I keep this with me when I go or when I do things, the pricing, right? So that I'm not giving stuff away, right? Like it's important. So that's how I find the things. And so I just do that. And then that thing in the middle is just for a giveaway. So if you create a free customer account, you get a certain amount of entries. If you like me on, on Instagram or follow me, if you friend me on Facebook or, or if you become a promoter, you get so many entries and then that's how winners picked. So she has QR codes for Instagram. She has it for Venmo and it looks like your Lavelle. Um, yes. Site. So, so that's huge right now. This QR, yeah. QR codes. Instagram, all you have to do is go into your account info and print it off. It's already made up for you. You don't have to do anything else. It's already there ready for you. And um, Facebook, I made my QR code and same with my Lavelle um, website. And the way I make that is I do, you know, my username dot lavelle.com and I do forward slash register. And that's going to like shortcut people to, it brings them right to where they pick their country. So it skips them all over all the other stuff, just because it, it's a little bit quicker if they actually want to set it up. Honestly, I have my little sheet of paper that looks like this has name, phone number, and email. I used to just have people put that stuff down and I will make their stuff for them later that night or Sunday morning. And that also gives me a reason to get a hold of them and follow up with them on Sunday. Okay, hey, this is Katrina. I met you at the whatever. And here's your website and law. This I I usually put, this is where you're going to click to um, get to your, to sign into your account. This is also your referral link. And then in a separate, and then I send their referral link like separate away from that. And then I send underneath that their username and their temporary password and let them know they can change that. Um, I don't know, I like what that. else? So how many, on average, how many um, free accounts do you feel like you get at each event? It honestly, it varies. The most I've gotten is like, I think 10 or 12, but this area, I haven't gone outside of my area, which is what I'm working on doing now is I want to do one in this area a month. And then I want to do one, like an hour away. Um, I would say at least like 10. And then the least I've gotten is literally one. But with that being said, it's even if you only get one free customer account, that's still one more than you had yesterday. And yeah, absolutely. And 10 free accounts in one day. That's that's big. That's that's huge. That's 10 new potentials yeah, like, that you wouldn't have had before. Right now, I just went in and looked. It says that my 30 days for new accounts is 13. And so then my PPA right now is three. So I'm not like, it's not huge, but it's a nice steady pace, honestly. So I can give really good customer service and attention to all of these people. And people love that. People love to be loved on. They like to be, you know, catered to. That's just how they, how a lot of people are. Um, there was something else. Um, so where do you find these vendor events? Because I think a lot of people are unsure where they can find them. Um, and then what do you um, suggest like a new person just getting into this? Like you don't need to have all the products. Like you said, don't overwhelm them, right? Even if you just have the three steps, you know, cause that's, that's what we're known for, right? And just so say, if, if you think you might, you don't even have to know for sure yet, right? If you think you might want to do it, just start saving your empty boxes, like the ones that look nice, not like the ones that might be smashed up or something like that. Like the ones that look decent, start saving them, set them aside. You don't have to go and buy everything. And then even as far as like 
many experiences. If it's a, the event size I've been doing, I bring with me about five to six, three days. And then I only put maybe three out on the table. Um, because I can always go in the back office and just order samples and send them out that way. So nobody's, they're still not going to be waiting for a sample, right? Because even if they wanted one right then and I didn't have it, I could, do I like to set up their account right that second? No, but if they're going to buy a sample, I will. doesn't take that long. Um, and as far as where I find these events, I go on Facebook and I look at like the Chamber of Commerce Facebook page, right? I go like that page in my area. I go like the Rotary page in my area. And I go and I do it for like a radius of probably about, I would say, cause I live in Unadilla, New York. So it's not very, it's, you gotta travel, all right? You gotta travel to get anywhere. I'm about 20 minutes from Oneonta and 40 from Binghamton. So I do about, I would say about 30 minutes, at least radius if it's a small area. If you're in a big city, do not overwhelm yourself. I would only do the Chamber of Commerce and maybe a Rotary. And um, then like look for um, people that do advertising because there's people that put these events together, right? The organizers, there's those people. Try to go, you know, if you're not sure like how to find them, find a, a craft show or something and just go. Just, you don't have to set up a booth, just go and check things out and see what's going on and ask around, say, you know, oh, who's in charge of this event, you know? And people are gonna tell you and they're gonna be like super excited. Most people want more people to come and set tables up because the more people, the more people it brings in, all of it. And what I also do, I go around to all the other vendors, right? I go around to all the other vendors, I say hi. So I try to get there a little early, get set up. Go around, say hi. I take a little video for my stories and I put all of their, you know, I try to get like, obviously if it's a huge event and there's like 50 vendors, you're not gonna, don't do it like just in your area. And, uh, <laughs> but I go around and I talk to him like, there's one lady, she makes like cookie monster cupcakes. <laughs> And they're adorable. She, and like what Chas was saying the other day about on the morning Zoom, uh, what was she calling it? Like her small business, like Saturday local thing or something. And there are these people at these events and they don't know how to do social media like we do, okay? She didn't even know how to put music to this video in her stories. So I showed her and I put you know like the cookie monster song to it or whatever and she loved it she was so excited that now she knew how to do that right and so of course I have a free customer account with her she has one but you know I mean it's simple things like that it doesn't cost us anything to just be nice to people and help a little bit they're not gonna you know they're there with cupcakes yeah we're health and wellness we got treat meal so whatever <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So do you, so there's right now, there's this time of year, there's so many vendor events. Um, so do you suggest like, like how many vendor events do you normally do? Like how many, so you've been in about a year, right? Did you come in like knowing vendor events? So, or is that, did you learn, like kind of learned as you went and how many? Well, I talked to Chas. She, she took, she told me a lot of these, the whole like empty box thing. She told, she told me that part and she told me about the QR codes and a lot of things. So I did learn a lot from her, um, the events. So this last one was small business Saturday. So I felt that it was extremely important that I stay in my local, my very local community. Um, and this next one is also in the same area just because I have COVID in October, so I really didn't know. I'm, I'm pretty upset. <laughs> it's okay. Like, I'm not upset, but I couldn't do, I couldn't go anywhere in October, right? Like, it was done. I couldn't go anywhere. And then we had our local in Syracuse the first weekend in November, which I was thankful I was able to go to. So 
trying to juggle that, but I aim for two a month and I would try, I mean, I would do, I'm going to do one kind of locally and then try and travel about an hour. I'm not going to go more than an hour right now, but, and yeah, when I came in, I did not do vendor events. Um, I did waitress and bartend for about 16 years. So I'm very comfortable with talking to strangers and I just get really weird if I don't know what to say. So yeah. that's all right. So, wow. So great information because, um, you know, I think there's so many different ways to grow your business. And, you know, I think we're just all the time so focused on social media when there are, like I said, so many different ways. And like Stacy says, there's a thousand ways to the beach, right? Um, so, and if social media, if you're not kind of getting to where you want to be as fast as you think, you know, try a different avenue, try vendor events, try going out, you know, and talking to people face to face or, you know, what we say, belly to belly, you know, cause maybe that is your, that's, that's your thing. You don't know. Right. Um, so I find that I'm very uncomfortable with belly to belly, but let me tell you when I get going, I'm, I'm on, I'm on fire because people see, like I said in the beginning, people see my, my passion and my excitement and how much I love these products. And it's hard to see that from social media, right? So figure out different ways to grow your business and different ways to get in front of people. Again, vendor events are just, um, you know, a great way to do that. And you don't have to go and you have to spend hundreds of dollars on them, you know, especially the small local ones, they're pretty inexpensive, you know? Um, so, and, you know, I have a girl um, on my team who um, is doing one this weekend, this weekend, I think, this weekend or next weekend. And, you know, she's borrowing my banner. She's borrowing my tablecloth. So, you know, if you don't have those things, that's okay. You know, reach out, reach up, reach, you know, whatever, and see who, in your area might have those things for you to borrow, right? And, you know, like I said, you don't have to go in with, you know, every product, you know, you don't have to, you know, you're just starting out. If people see that you can do this without a huge display, they're gonna feel like that's something they can do as well, right? So they don't feel like it's, it's something that's, you know, a far reach from what they can do. So thank you, Katrina. I appreciate you so much. And I'm so happy that I was able to meet you in Syracuse and um, hear your story. And thank you so much for coming on and sharing it with everybody else. Can, so, all right. All right, guys. So you've heard from three amazing women tonight about different ways that they're growing their business this time of year, whether it's groups and in, you know, getting potentials into a chat or reaching out to current customers and letting them know of, you know, promos that are going on or going to a vendor events. Um, so take what you learned tonight, see how you can apply it to, you know, the rest of 2021, right? 2021 and um, see how you can, you know, keep your business growing during this slow time because it's only as, it's only as a slow as we make it right so um and then on top of that we have our um 12 days of christmas giveaway still so don't forget about that like i said if you're not part of that group we have almost a thousand people in there you know reach out um message me message your sponsor your upline whoever it may be and get in there. And so you can start inviting your um, potentials and make sure that they have a free customer account with you if they don't already, if they're not already an ordering customer. Um, so any friends, uh, family, customers, anything like that, get them in there. They can win some amazing prizes. And then you can also hopefully grow your business with that as well. So I know that's been wildly successful in the past. So thank you guys so much. Thanks for bearing with me. I know that Lisa is sick. Um, so um, I appreciate you guys all so much for coming on tonight. And I guys, I hope you guys have an amazing um, rest of your week going into uh, hopefully a killer weekend. So I'll see you guys next Thursday, same time.
time, same place, same link. So have a good night.